What's up YouTube? It's your boy Marcus and I am finally back in the chair for another video and I truly believe that I got the best custom do all pistol on YouTube. T.O. Roll that intro. Marcus talks. Marcus talks. Marcus talks. Marcus talks. Okay, so for all you internet RSOs out there, we are dealing with an unloaded firearm. Empty mag, empty chamber. This is my very first custom pistol build. This is my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact. I'm not a gun expert. I don't know everything there is to know about firearms. I'm just an enthusiast. I love guns. Real strong supporter of the Second Amendment. I'm not police, military, none of that. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. These are the modifications that I've made to my pistol. This is what works for me. What works for me might not work for you, but I definitely encourage you, if you have rounds down range with your stock gun, make some modifications to it. Have some fun with it, especially if you got other guns in the safe. The reason why I wanted to do this with my gun is because I got the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus, and that holds 13 rounds, so that's plenty comfortable for me for everyday carry. So if I'm gonna be carrying that more often than not, I might as well trick this bad boy out, right? To me, this is the best custom do all pistol on YouTube because I got my integrated compensator up here, optic, flat face trigger, magwell, and then for home defense, 20 round mag. Oh yeah, I got a nice, plus six base plate from Floyd's Custom Shop. They absolutely knocked these out of the park. Machining on these, just as great as on their slide. For concealed carry, boom. Got the nice plus twos from Floyd's Custom Shop. These stick out no further than your fi standard 15 round mags on the gun. So when you're concealing this, it conceals exactly the same as your 15 round mag straight out of the box. I got this right in an appendix holster. And yeah, this is all that's sticking out when you're concealing, so I ain't gotta worry about none of that. All right, so let's get into this Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact. We're gonna start from the top down. We got the Holosun 508T. There's a really nice red dot from Holosun. Uh, this is a basically a copy of their 507C and they basically gave it a titanium housing, a flat top, solar panel up top. We got a side mounted battery right here. It's got shake awake technology. So you leave this in a safe or on the counter or wherever for more than 10 minutes, the dot automatically shuts off. So that's awesome. Great features from Hollow Sun, all for about half the price of the Trijicon RMR. So durability, reliability, and the amount of features that you get for the price, that is why I went with the Holosun 508T up top. Now to get into the part that most of y'all are probably here for, this beautiful Floyd's Custom Shop slide. So these guys at Floyd's Custom Shop, they're out of Idaho. They really focus on the Smith & Wessons, making sure that the Smith & Wesson M&Ps get some custom love. It's kind of hard to find guys that'll do good, reliable work for the Smith & Wesson M&P line. Floyd's Custom Shop is the only custom shop that I know of that is doing this detailed of work on the Smith & Wesson M&Ps that actually is function over form. Now don't get me wrong, this is sexy. This is a beautiful gun, but everything on here has a purpose. Um, you got Lightning cuts up here with some vents up top, some vents right here, and vents down here on the side. That's real good for press checks, and it also just lightens up that slide. I lost about two and a half ounces doing all these slide cuts, barrel porting, slide cuts, windows, pockets, and I only added about an ounce, maybe a little bit over an ounce with the 508T. So overall, after all this work done to this gun, I'm still lighter than I was in stock configuration. Look at that porting up there. Let's get in on that. Beautiful, beautiful work by Floyd's Custom Shop. Like I said, these are the only guys that I know that are doing reliable work for the Smith & Wesson M&Ps. You got some nice pockets right there. Nice 
tasteful Floyd's Custom Shop logo. I am not a fan of big, bulky, obnoxious logos. See, like you can't even see that from back here. They straightened up the back serrations, and if you can see, they get deeper as you go back on the slide. So they start out, they start out pretty passive, and the further you get back, they get real aggressive all the way to that last one. It's got a real nice ledge back there. And you know, I was a fan of the stock serrations on the back, but if you can make them a little bit deeper, then I don't see a problem with that at all. So big shout out to Floyd's Custom Shop on this slide. They absolutely knocked this out of the park. I sent this out to them at the same time as I ordered a couple custom holsters from Legacy Firearms Co. And the slide beat the holsters by about two weeks. I got the slide back in almost exactly four weeks. It took almost exactly a month to get this back. And for me, that's, that's amazing turnaround time because you got guys with custom slide work that are going out three, four months. So the fact that Floyd's Custom Shop turned this around in a month and then did that detailed of work, you, you got to give them credit for that. They also ran my, um, my gun through Cerakote. This is a sniper gray Cerakote. Uh, I told them that I wanted a contrast between the slide and the frame, but I didn't want the slide to be like a battleship gray, nothing too bright and obnoxious. I wanted a nice seamless transition from the slide to the frame, and they suggested sniper gray. I took their word for it, and they absolutely knocked it out of the park. Probably one of the best things that I gotta say about Floyd's Custom Shop is their customer service. You can go right on Instagram, at Floyd's Custom Shop, and send them a DM with any questions or concerns you got about their slide packages, and they'll respond to you within a couple minutes. Like I was having full on conversations with them and they were responding to me right away. So that plus the turnaround time, these guys are absolutely awesome. So the only thing that I wish that they would have included on their form that I filled out to when I sent this up was fluting on the barrel to lighten that up a little bit, crowning on the front to just get a more even exit of the bullet through the barrel, but the most important thing I wish that they added was the back bore. I messaged Floyd's Custom Shop and I asked about jacket shavings coming out of these little ports here. And they said they offer a back boring option to where they take the rifling inside the barrel just up to the point of the ports. And that'll help with the jacket shavings coming out of the side. So I'm probably going to send this back to them to get some back boring and some crowning. But overall, 10 out of 10, they knocked this out of the park. We're gonna take it on down to the trigger. We got the notorious Apex Flatty from Apex Tactical. This is a flat face trigger. Now, if you know anything about Apex Tactical, you know that their M&P triggers are absolutely amazing. It's arguably the best trigger that you could put in a striker-fired gun, making the Smith & Wesson M&P with the Apex Tactical trigger in there one of the best triggers in a striker-fired gun you could get on the market. So basically what this does is it reduces the take up. So what you see from the front here, from your immediate trigger press to the wall, that's your take up. That's the wall right there. So that reduces your take up from the stock, which the stock trigger started further back. So this is a more forward set trigger. It's flat face. You see it's got a real nice vertical up and down there. And you got your traditional Glock safety blade here. So there's your take up and wall. Nice crisp pull. And the reset, that's it. And you're ready to go again. This allows for much quicker follow-up shots, uh, real easy to get right back on target. What it also does is it brings the trigger a little bit further forward in the trigger guard making for a better transition from your index point up here down to the trigger. It's just a lot more natural feeling. The flat face trigger is way more ergonomic than the stock curved trigger. And like I said, take up, reset, all of that's just absolutely reduced with the Apex Flatty. We pulled this at the range with a Lyman trigger gauge. We pulled it anywhere from 3.3 .3 to 3.8 ounces. So I like to call it a nice three and a half pound trigger. Moving on down, we got a Floyd's Custom Shop Magwell. Like I said, Floyd's did a lot of work on this gun. You got a nice flared Magwell there. Makes for easy, easy reloads. 
even if you're off, like I tend to be in my reloads, I'm still working on it. You, nice flush fit every single time. But probably my favorite thing that this Magwell does is it has this little pinky rest right here. So you have your full three finger grip on your M&P Compact, but now you got a nice little pinky rest and that makes recoil control a lot easy because you, if you have a good grip, that pinky extension right there really helps you get right back on target. And with this Floyd's Custom Shop Magwell, you do need to use their proprietary base plate. So this is a plus two base plate from Floyd's Custom Shop right there, just about as large as the 15 round mag. And then I got a plus five to make a 20 round mag in this bad boy. And so that's gonna top it off or bottom out, I guess. Uh, these plus five base plates right here, I use these for home defense and I carry that in my pocket with a Neo mag, pretty easy. And then this is what I actually carry the gun in, those plus twos to give me a 17 round full size capacity in this small compact size frame. So those are all the reasons why I think I got the best overall do everything you need pistol on YouTube. This is a good concealed carry gun. It's a great home defense gun. Mess around with this at the range, put a bunch of rounds down range. This thing does it all, man. Floyd's Custom Shop absolutely knocked this out of the park. Apex Tactical as always with amazing triggers. Hollow Sun with a reliable, dependable, rugged optic. Man, I couldn't ask for more than this M&P 2.0 compact. We are gonna take this bad boy up to the range St. Louis West, and we're gonna get with a couple of my coworkers and managers. We're gonna shoot this side by side with some compensated pistols, get some of my coworkers' opinions, and we will wrap this one up. All right, let's head to the range. What's up, y'all? We are in Baldwin, Missouri. I wanna welcome you guys to the range. CMMG Banshee. We don't need that. Oh yeah. It's for your AK boys out there. Woo! Beautiful. Daily carry, both inside the waistband and outside the waistband. Block 5, Block 19, Gen 5 MOS. Running the Surefire 600 Ultra on there. All of a sudden, 5019 Red Dot with the CPH Precision plate on there. That's the way to go. And then the last cherry on top is the Tag Works Extended Raised Mag Release. If you're a modern block shooter, get this slide release. It's the way to go. 100%. All set in the Blackhawk Mountain War holster. It's old school, but it works just fine for me. All right, we are back from our range session and I hope that you guys had a good time with us up at the range St. Louis West. I've only been working there for a couple months, but I am enjoying the hell out of my time there. I hope you guys like the facility. I hope you guys like the range. We are gonna wrap this one up here. Once again, this is my custom Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 compact with love from Floyd's Custom Shop. Man, that is a mouthful. If you made it all the way this far, Please drop a like on the video. It lets me know that you like this kind of content. You want me to keep doing more. 
and go ahead and share it with a friend. You got someone that has an m and you got anybody that's into custom guns like this, go ahead and hit that share button, share it with a friend, put it on your timeline, let me know that you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. We talking about all of it, we talking about politics, we cranking the volume on all these albums, then we can talk about the outcome. Live on Marcus Talks, Marcus Talks, Marcus Talks, Marcus Talks. Marcus talks.